know you didn't win much, but I hope that you won't feel it's not too, it's too little for you to tell us the story. Uh, what is this fellow in for? He's in for murdering his wife. It's nice, and he is the prison barber? That's right. He, he shaves me. What does he shave you with? What kind of... A straight razor. Straight razor. <laughs> well, sir, I don't know if we'll ever see you again, but I do want to thank you. <laughs> Get ready to play Love, Hate, Despair. You'll see it all on the original Newlywed Game. And then, the game of love continues. Bob Eubanks is back on the new Newlywed Game. Catch the Newlywed Game at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Pacific, followed by the new Newlywed Game, weekdays on Game Show Network. I didn't get all the life insurance I should have when I was younger. Who did? The burial expense plan is the answer for me. I'm guaranteed coverage with no questions asked. I don't want to burden the children with my final expenses. With the burial expense plan, I can leave behind fond memories instead of bills. And that's a good feeling. My policy can never be canceled. My rate can never go up. And I'll build cash value for the future. Now that's real security. If you're age 45 to 79, now you can get the same protection and peace of mind that these folks enjoy. That's right. With the burial expense plan from Physicians Life, you can provide your family with up to $10,000 to help settle final expenses. Just write down the toll-free number and call it to get this free information kit with all the details. For starters, your acceptance is guaranteed. You won't have to take a medical exam or answer a single health question. Plus, your premium will never increase. And your coverage can never be canceled except by you. And because this is modified whole life insurance, your policy builds cash value over the years that you can borrow against. Think of it. That's up to $10,000 you can leave behind to help pay burial, funeral, and other final expenses. It's money your loved ones can count on at a time when they'll need it most. It's exactly the kind of security you'd expect from Physician's Life a leader in providing solid, affordable life insurance you can depend on. So if you're 45 to 79, call toll-free to get your free information kit on the burial expense plan. You get it directly by mail. There's no cost or obligation of any kind. You're simply calling for information. Join the thousands of men and women who have already made the choice. Pick up the phone and call today. Physicians Life, we're here when you need us. Before we go on with the game, I've just been handed a note here that's going to be of interest to a lot of people, which is to the effect that Lieutenant Jarecki is going to be here uh, in New York on this coming Sunday to address a meeting which has been organized by the Polish-American Congress and the Polish Immigration Committee, and it's going to be held at Manhattan Center on 34th Street and 8th Avenue in New York at 3 p.m. That's this coming Sunday, the Manhattan Center at 3 p.m. Now, it's time to have our panel go to uh, work on tonight's special guest, ladies and gentlemen, a man who made Latin America famous, Mr. Xavier Cougat. been a long time for us, too. We, too, whatever, right? And how? You know, as a matter of fact, it might interest nobody to know that uh, when uh, Jimmy Durante and I started as, as partners, it was Durante, Cougat, and Moore on the, on the show. We all started out together. Now, Coogie, why don't you whisper your secret to me? By the way, we're going to play the game precisely as we have before, except that in this case, any money is won. We'll go to Coogie's favorite charity. Now, X, if you whisper it to me, we'll reveal it to the folks at home. you quite a following. The clue is that it concerns something that he's going to do, and I think, Miss Jane, we will start with you tonight. Oh, dear. Mr. Cougat, are you, this thing that you're going to do, are you going to do it tonight by any chance? Yes. Are you going to do it in this theater? Yes. Are you going to do it right on this stage? Yes. Is it going to be something nice that you're going to do? I think it's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> are you going to do it to the panel by any chance? Partially, I think, is the best we can say there, Mr. Nkugi. Come see, come sorry. To certain <laughs> members of the panel? Come see, come sorry. Yeah. <laughs> $10 down, $70 to go, and hot Henry Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cougat, this thing you're going to do, are you going to use anything? <laughs> well, 
What does he mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by anything? Well, uh, you know, uh, um, an object. Some, you um, mean? object. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't no. no, use nothing. <laughs> well, well, there we go again. <laughs> Oh, something. that's not a good question, is it? Oh. Are you, are, um, well, apparently you're going to use something. Yes, Henry, there is, there is something else involved. Should I find out, or should I yes. go for that? Pursue <laughs> the object. Let's call it an object. Is it Remember. something you have on you at the moment? <laughs> oh, no. Huh? There's a buzz. Mercifully, $20 down and $60 to go. They... Uh, Mr. Cougat, is this something that you are well known for doing? No. Uh, no. Have you ever done it before? Yes. Under these, under as it, just as we say it tonight. Well, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> come see, come saw. No. <laughs> uh, does it involve any physical action on your part? Yes. Uh. Does it consist of something like dancing or running or, uh... Will you break those down into one or two questions, Miss uh, mm -hmm. Emerson, please? Well, are you going to dance or shake the maracas or... Well, what uh, do you mean? You mean like uh, dance or do you mean like shake the maracas or... I guess I better start with shake the maracas. The you going to... <laughs> no! Oh! Are you going to dance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is $30 down and $50 to go, Mr. Bill Cullen. Are you going to dance with me, Coogie? <laughs> Definitely not. It wouldn't be fun for you, but boy, what a laugh. Uh, <laughs> are you going to dance with one of the uh, feminine members of our panel? Yes. Henry. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, does he come from Denmark? <laughs> is it going to be Miss Emerson with whom you uh, terpsichore? That is precisely it. Yeah. Oh, no! Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you, Faye, we thought that you might want to dance with the man who, who, who rightly originated Latin American music in this country, and to make sure that we have just precisely the right tempo and the authentic rhythm and the authentic Latin harmonies, we have a recording set up here in our control booth of what is considered to be one of the greatest rumba bands ever to be organized, there, Desi there. Arnett. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to be a variety show. Hey, hey. <laughs> Get in touch with Game Show Network. Log on to our website and play our games or email us your questions and comments. It's www.sony.com slash game show net. Now, without further musical accompaniment, let's welcome our next guest to I've Got a Secret. Good evening, sir. <laughs> now then, will you tell us your name and where you are from, sir? Walter Perry from Boston, Dodgerson. Perry. Now then, panel, uh, we're going to have Mr. Perry whisper his secret to me. At the same time, we will show it in writing to the folks at home. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we will start with this because, Henry, you are, your batting average is two out of three, and that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Let's start with you. I'll tell you only it concerns something that Mr. Perry did. Miss Perry, did you do this uh, recently? No. <laughs> Some time ago? Some time ago. Would it help any to know when? Mm, no, I don't think so. No. Uh, did you do this uh, with somebody? Is there somebody else involved in the secret? Yes. Uh, should we go for who that was? Mm-hmm. Is it somebody well-known? Somebody in uh, the theater? Yes. Or, uh... So in the theater? No. Somebody in our racket? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, no. It's, uh, uh, somebody in um, the arts generally? No. So somebody in uh, the sciences? No. No. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> somebody in politics? Yes. No. 
Uh, indirectly, indirectly in politics, yes. Uh, $10 down, $70 to go. Miss Faye Emerson, please. I'd like to know how anybody could be indirectly in politics. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will become apparent to you after a while. Would it help us, Mr. Perry, to know what you do in your own life? No. That's not important? No. By indirectly in politics, do you mean that his major job or her major job is something else, and yet they are associated with politics? Uh, their career, the career of the person in question is not directly concerned with practical, working, everyday politics. However, it crosses the line into politics every now and then. Is this thing that you did with this person, was that a physical action? Yes. Uh, was there any, uh, conveyance involved in it? Uh... Yes. Oh, there was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I hadn't asked that. I don't know where to go. That is unfair. That is, I give you an unfair yes on it. By conveyance, you mean a vehicle, uh, uh, a mechanical contrivance. Yes. The answer would have to be no. I'm sorry. Uh, could it have been... Uh, did, did, uh, $20, uh, $20 down, $60 to go. Bill Cullen, please. Is this person a man? No. Uh, is this uh, a person, uh, a very well-known lady who is, at this time, who recently has become active in... Is it Mrs. Roosevelt? Let's put it that way. Yes. Right yes. <laughs> Is this something you did for Mrs. Roosevelt? Yes. Professionally? <laughs> yes and no. Well, at the time, it was, it was uh, yes, connected with yes. your job. If I knew what your job was, would that help me know what you did for Mrs. Roosevelt? Mm, might. It would um, be a long way around, however, yeah. Bill. Long way, well, uh, this thing did you do physically to Mrs. Roosevelt? Mm, yes. Uh, did it change her appearance in any way? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It might have momentarily, uh, but, uh, but not really. $30 down and $50 to go, Miss Jane Madison. Mr. Perry, are you a doctor by any chance? Are you Dr. Perry? No. You're not. Are you by any chance a... Uh... <laughs> a dentist. <laughs> You're not a dentist? No. No. Uh, would this thing have anything to do with uh, her clothes or her home? Would it have anything to do with her clothes? I don't no. think so, no. Was it something done to her physical being? Yes. Would it have, uh, uh, would it be from the neck up that you did it? <laughs> Partly. 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 Would it be the other part of it from the waist up? Yes. Partly. Would it be from the waist down, too? Partly. Would it have yes. anything to do with weight? Yes. Well, weight is not specifically mentioned in the secret. Uh, the weight necessarily must be involved, yes. Does it have anything to do with exercise? Exercise is involved. Yeah. There was exercise, physical exercise involved. There's the buzzer went again. There's forty dollars down and forty dollars to go. Panelists, it's your last time around. Well, that was that was the last spot, Henry. I know, but that's all I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> did uh, did you design something that Mrs. Roosevelt wears? No. You don't. You weren't. Uh... Oh boy. <laughs> Faye. No, I don't. Are did you two going in business for yourself over there? Pardon? Did you teach her to do anything? No. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> you want to forfeit all? Right, over we go to uh, Miss Emerson. There's another ten dollars down, fifty dollars down, and thirty dollars to go, Faye. Well, I had thought possibly you coached Mrs. Roosevelt in riding or something like that. No. Are you a professional man, Mr. Perry? Yes. Are you an attorney? No. Uh, now, Miss Emerson, it has not to do with his current profession. It was his profession at the time. I'm sorry, panel, we're out of time, and we seem to be getting further and further at sea. Will you explain to the panel what it was that you did? Well, I carried Mrs. Roosevelt piggyback. <laughs> piggyback? Yes. <laughs> As a very young man, Mr. Perry was part of a crew on a cruising yacht off the coast of New England, and uh, they went to get Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Roosevelt off the shore as a guest. The dinghy ran aground coming into shore, so Mr. Perry, as a, a young seaman at the time, went and carried Mrs. Roosevelt piggyback out to the dink and from thence to the boat. And that's <laughs> how it happened. Thank you very much, sir. You get the complete $80. Good luck. That's all the time we have tonight for our guests and their secrets. In just a moment, I will tell you about the famous celebrity who will be third degreed by our panel on next week's program. But first, here's a message of interest to you. Let me tell you about how UC Lending took care of our little...
What is your name, please? My name is Bill Miller. 